so guess where I'm at? I am at a. Uh, I had some warning, but I hope that's okay. So I'm at Tokyo Station right now, and then the, the reason why Tokyo Station is very far is because I'm hiding between buildings. And if you have seen my Instagram live that I just did, uh, you probably know why. And this is one of the reasons why uh, I like Matsuyama a little bit better. <laughs> but uh, Tokyo is very, very windy, and I picked the wrong red day for a live stream. And so, I'm not risking my gimbal because it's Norm's gimbal, and I don't want to break it with the strong wind. But if you can see the leaves, this is like mild, it was like super strong wind. And I was like thinking of like adjusting the time and everything so that I can avoid the wind. However, however, hi guys. However, seems like it's gonna be windy all day long. So there's no way that I can avoid this wind. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna use my main gimbal. So it'll be a little bit shaky, but sorry in advance. And if you can't hear me, just let me know. Uh, try to speak louder, but like it's very, very windy. So I'm going to go around Tokyo Station because I thought, you see, it's super windy. So like, look at those people. And I'm gonna find something that's like very interesting from my uh, from my point of view as a country person. Uh, but yeah, like first of all, like that's a giant giant station, and we have like JR station in Matsuyama, it, but it's very small and it's very old. And I see, oh, see, like this is super windy. So if you can't hear me, just let me know. Uh, yeah, so that's, I just realized this is a post office. Zoom in. Here, it doesn't look like post office and in the building is like pretty big. Like we have of course post office in anime, but it's like first story, just like a little, uh, like a, I don't know, like it's really small, like a hut. So, and then I was wondering what this building is. Now like why the wind was kind of fine and then I start streaming and it's like super windy. Oh my god, can you hear the wind? Audio is good? Okay, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Cause like I don't have a pin mic or anything. Like, oh but anyway, so like I was like, oh bamboo's cool. Like what shop is this? And it like I looked inside. Can you see you guys see inside? Can you guess what this store is? It's freaking apple. So this apple is actually giant. Oh, by the way, we don't have apple store in uh, in my hometown, of course. It's gonna be super windy, but I'm just gonna oh wow! See, that's apple. Okay. That's an apple. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's how windy it is, and then we never get these kind of. I'm gonna try to walk slow, but uh, yeah, see apple. I really want the uh, new Apple, I mean, new phone, iPhone, because like my phone is like 11. Uh, I think I have, I'm having this for three years now. So I'm kind of ready for an upgrade, but I don't know. I have other things that I have to do, like a, uh, what is it? Like, uh, like I get in an apartment. So apartment hunting is not going so well. Uh, it's going terribly and <laughs> it's kind of stressful. So first thing is because I am doing apartment hunting when it's not really a season for it. So in Japan, everything ends in March and then everything uh, starts in April. Ooh! So this is the scooter and the bike thing that I just learned to ride. Well, I can't. I haven't like really taken a test to ride the, this scooter thing. Uh, this is like counted as like a motorcycle, like a small motorcycle, and so uh, it's electric, I think. However, it's got the license plate, and they have to have a driver's license, I think. And then you have to be, uh, you have to t take the test beforehand and they have to pass the test and then this one is very tricky to ride because you can't ride on the, the sidewalk you have to ride 
uh, like a car and it's very dangerous because if this doesn't go over like three kilometers per hour or something, it's very so. Oh, mass fit, uh, mass fit. Thank you for the super chat. Tokyo is more expensive than Matsumi. Yes, it is. Like I've been going around like supermarkets and then like convenience stores are pretty much the same. But like, yeah, everything is very, very expensive for sure. So thank you so much. But yeah, I'm like enjoying this loop uh, electric, electric bike. I think it's electric. Uh, so like it's smoother, it's easier, it's lighter to pedal. And then you can go, like you can rent it with just like scanning the uh, QR code and then you just need to drop off anywhere you want. So this is pretty neat. Uh, it's got really warm suddenly. Uh, anyway. So yeah, the apartment hunting is going terribly, so that's for sure. And then, will you find anything from Matsuyama in Tokyo? That's a good question. I have no idea. I haven't seen anything so far. Well, we have the, uh, we have the post office for sure. <laughs> Not it. So they have like a lot of stores. The other thing that I was surprised about Tokyo is that the shops never open. So shops are like these kind of like nice shops and all over the place, right? But like for some reason it's gonna get super windy though. Oh, this is a nice street. Look at it. This is a nice street if it's not windy. Everything is nice if it's not windy. But like I was I thought like Tokyo has like um doesn't have any like trees and then like green and then anything, but actually they have more trees or like sak sakura trees uh this is now the season is over so it's all green now then these are now sakura trees however i feel like they have more trees in nature than uh, matsuyama in the middle of tokyo i feel like see random flowers right but uh yeah like these shops are never open so Matsuyama, like I can, I can go to like go out from like 9 a.m. and then probably most of the stores are open. However, like here you have to wait until like 11 or something. So last time, uh, like long time ago, my brother was still like high school student, and then uh, he wanted to come to Tokyo for something, and we were doing separate things. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna take you to the station and we will do separate things right and I was like okay I'm just gonna do sightseeing you know whatnot and then I thought that I was gonna stop by a couple of shops and then nothing was open for like two hours that was painful I stepped on something anyway what is that and then like Tokyo have like these kind of like random arts <laughs> so well uh yeah I guess it's nice to have something something artsy oh there's like one more over there but, and then like some man is carrying baguettes. Now I want bread. Oh, so this is a bread. So one of the things like, oh, this shop is open. So I guess like, you know, coffee shop or like uh, bakery, something like that can be open. Like people who wants to grab coffee before going into uh, the to work or something like that. There we go. So. So this is supposed to be like a office. Holy. <laughs> uh, just let me know if you can hear me. I'll try to find a place that I can hide. And then like random statue doing rugby. There you go. What is this shop? Like, I'm pretty sure like they have like a lots of um, interesting shops that I can't Oh, this is a, probably like a candle, a candle shop. So things like that. Uh, the other thing I thought was the um, like Tokyo has like you think Tokyo is like, like you know state of art city. Everything's new. Everything is fancy like this. Tall buildings for sure. But um, at the same time, they have like a traditional old. Uh, small shops owned by family and uh, and stuff. So like everything is mixed mixed up in a good way. 
Uh, whereas like in Matsuyama, if you're like, if you're trying to run a business, a small business with your family and whatnot, like you know, like sell for example, like like you know, small bakery or like say a small restaurant or small like a maybe stationery store or whatever. Uh, it's hard to live because people go to like a bigger uh, shopping mall to buy those things, right? But uh, yeah, they have been doing some like artsy stuff. Yeah, people are like, yeah, but like those people don't really care about the wind. I'm the only one who's complaining about the wind because <laughs> I'm not used to this. But I think people in Tokyo, they are just like very used to these kind of uh, strong wind. So... Good morning, good morning. So, yeah. I saw inflation is on the rise in Japan, but salaries are not keeping up. Yeah, that is, that is very true. It might come sometime but uh let's go this way oh this is a bar this is a bar let's talk about the apartment search yeah i'll talk about the apartment search all right because i must but it's very very strong wind i'm kind of like, surprised that you guys can actually hear me though i'll like keep it this way so that you can see around and then also you can probably hear me better than i'm pointing camera to myself oh the holy crap this is not good this is not good yeah i'm not using the gimbal at all let's go this way let's hide in the hide between buildings how about that Yeah, no worries, good, no worries. So like, I was like, for um, for fun, I decided to um, take the weather in Matsuyama, and of course, no wind. Yesterday was fine. Yesterday was like little cloudy, little like spitting, but uh, yeah, it wasn't windy. Windy is the worst. But I, you know, I set up the live stream, and I might do live stream like one more time. Uh, next week or something because it just this is crap <laughs> So audio sounds good. Really? I'm not using the mic. That's my worry Like I'm trying to cover the the, the mic part of my iPhone so that like it's pointing directly at me So that's what I'm doing and then like trying to like speak close to the phone uh, So that's why I'm trying to like, face the camera out not towards myself, then I have to like pull my camera uh, a little further so like you can't probably hear me. Breakfast? No, no breakfast yet. I just literally came out from my uh, from my hotel. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so like Matsuyama is like perfect weather, and then Tokyo is windy. So uh, this place is like a little nice between buildings, like brown building, and then the white building. And then, see? Another bicycles. So, this loop thing is quite handy. I haven't really looked at like how much it costs though. I think it's like depending on like how long you ride and then also how far you go, something like that. But I, I would say like it's pretty much about the same as uh, you pay for the train, so. If you want to go on a, on the street, just cycle, get some exercise, maybe this is good. Ehime is windy to know, Ehime is never windy. Like this much wind, Ehime people would consider this is like a typhoon level. Like when we have typhoon, that's the wind that we have. So I'm a little worried about like, what if we have typhoon here in Tokyo? Like I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> so... Cannot find vending machine at all. That is true. Okay, let's go for vending machine hunting. So, apart, I was like talking about apartment hunting for a bit. Okay, now it's got super, super windy. I'm gonna like wait a little bit here. I'm gonna go other direction. Good morning. 
So apartment hunting is pretty much failing. However, I made a list. See, like a typhoon level. It's like a like tornado, leaf tornado. But uh, so I visited how many? One, two, three, four. At least four or five real estate agency. Uh, they all failed. So real estate agents can be very, very, um, I don't know, like you think, is especially because it's Japan, you go in, you're a customer, and then they'll treat, treat you like, you know, a princess, right? You're like, okay, like, what would you like? And then blah, 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 blah. And, but a real estate agent is not that kind of place. They're mean, they're direct, they don't, like, they pretty much ignore what you say, and then pull up a completely different offer that I like. You just told them that like, what you were looking for. So yeah, so it's very stressful, and then you never really find anything. And then when you find something, this is the difference between Matsuyama and Ahime, uh, not Matsuyama, Ahime, Tokyo. That when you actually find something good, and I was like, oh, this is what I want. Like I want to take a look, and either. Former tenant there, so like you can't actually see the uh, apartment. Holy crap, this isn't good at all. So last time, last night when I checked the weather, they're like, okay, so it's gonna be windy, but it's a moderate wind. Like maybe the uh, leaves on the tree would like. No. So that's why I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's gonna be a little windy here and there, but I can manage it, right? That's what I hoped, that's what I believed, and no, this is not moderate wind for me. This is like insane typhoon wind. So anyway, so a real estate agent was uh, uh, not so helpful. So there's one who was like very nice staff, but like he uh wasn't good at finding things oh uh sorry i can't pronounce your name m m u emmanuel colin thank you colin thank you so much for the super super sticker thank you and then somebody is sneezing very loud <laughs> so can i see a lot of working people walk is it working in tokyo i think the rush hour has uh ended so, because it's it's, uh, it's kind of like 9.30, nine, close to 9.30, right? 9.20 or something. Um, so, this is not really a, uh, how can I say, it's not a, a rush hour. So, people are already in the offices. So, that's why you don't really see many uh, people. Yeah, no people. So, oh, look at that! So, actually, I learned about this bus very recently because I didn't know what the hell it was, <laughs> this was. Because, um, like, they have like an open, like, there's a roof on the top. And so, I was riding a bike, I think, the other day, and I was like, what the hell is this bus? And then, turns out, this is like a touristy bus that you can go around and you can take a look at like touristy places cool anyway so we see some cars i never want to a uh, drive in tokyo it's very scary because like this is fine right like three lanes but like there are so many places that like you never know which lane that you should be on and then the each lane is like super narrow so even though you are driving like a normal size car or k car it's just like uh, very very um you know uh scary like you know norm says like you just need to learn where to turn and which lane to be on and then things like that he has seen me driving in Matsuyama and then also of course like in Matsuyama too that we have like a, a very narrow roads that like you know maybe like this wide right this can be a road in Matsuyama so like if other car comes from different directions and then you kind of have to like you know 
uh, park your car very close to the edge or something to let the car go, but still. The wind has been a little calmed down so far. Stay this way, please. So I believe, I might be wrong, I believe, I was told that there is a imperial palace and then I think that's what it is. I have no idea how to get there. So next time I'm gonna do a little bit of research beforehand so that we can go in. Uh, as far as like, a, uh, as, I, as I saw on Google, it was more like a, like a nature thing. Um, so I thought like I should do more like a Tokyo-ish thing, like with tall buildings and whatnot, because I can see a lot of nature and, and water and flowers and birds in Matsuyama. So uh, I'm going home before Golden Week starts because Golden Week is the uh, the one of the most expensive uh, time of the year to get an airplane ticket. So. Um, yeah, so when I go back, I can do a uh, one or two live streams in Matsuyama so you can see the nature, if you love nature. Uh, so yes, Norm is a uh, helping me with apartment hunting. Uh, he has been very helpful because like I have no idea what to look for, right? I mean, I know what to look for, like what I want, but like area-wise, so there are things like, you know, I think in the uh, last live stream that we did together uh, Oh, Eva-chan, thank you so much for your morning snack later Oh, thank you! Yeah, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna grab something What should I grab? What should I eat for breakfast? So, yeah, so like Norm has been helping me out like picking out the area almost because like when it comes to the uh, actual apartment apartment um like everyone has particulars right so i want this you want this so everyone is different however when it comes to area you have to know the the trains and like stations and um things like that so i know a little bit about my hometown of course but i don't know anything about tokyo so yeah that's very very helpful but i was saying earlier Corsant, yes, Corsant might be good. Yeah, that's a good choice. I might get one. That's the good thing about Tokyo. Like when you feel like you are craving for something, and then you just like walk, maybe like you know five, ten minutes, and then you find bakery, you find convenience store, you find this, you find that. That never happens. Um, this station I never see. So I'm trying to learn uh, station names as well and then there are lots of touristy bus So... I get onigiri. Ah, onigiri is good They're like, um, not like convenience store onigiri but like they have the uh, like a handmade onigiri as well and they all look very very good But uh... So yeah, so apartment hunting is not the season at the moment. So I was saying earlier and I probably got distracted with something else like I always do. But uh, so Japan, Japan's fiscal year and then the school year is almost the same. And it starts from April and then finish at March. So a lot of people move around during, in March and then they have to settle in uh, before April. I'm gonna go this way. Um, so like if you are looking for an apartment like let's say starting from like February or something, February and March, um, if you're quick enough you can uh, find a uh, you can find places and even if you miss one there are more to come later on. So every day you have new information, new places uh, getting open and things like that. However, once you pass that season, it's very hard to get because people are already settled in. So there are no new apartments available and then ones that you can find that are leftovers. So 
we don't know what, but they are like maybe uh, located in the very inconvenient place or maybe, um, you know, there's something that you have to compromise. Maybe it's on the first floor. A lot of people don't want to be on the first floor. I don't want to be on the first floor. Uh, for my reason is because I don't like bugs. Uh, in Japan, well, uh, so like, so, um, I don't, like in Japan, we have lots of like spiders and cockroaches and in those like termites, uh, it's uh, disgusting. Uh, but if you're on the first floor, it's more likely to, to get like those kind of bugs in your house, right? However, if you're like a little, like if you go up a little, then it's less likely, not zero, but less likely. So like... Uh, apartment is also a little risky because like they have access from roof to your apartment like your, to your room right or like you know first ground of course like people want to walk in break in they can oh and then we looked back so I have no sense of direction so uh, th this kind of thing happens sometimes that I was like okay so let's go this way let's go that way and I'm like oh I came just back around so I have no idea, but I'm sure I have Google, Google Maps, so I can go back. Uh, the other thing is that like in Tokyo, when you are lost, even if you don't have maps or anything, if you walk straight for like 20 minutes, you will find a, a station. That's a good thing, right? Like if you are, if you get lost in my hometown and you're done. <laughs> Everywhere you look around, it looks the same. And like you see all the mountains in the back and then you just like maybe you end up in the river sure or you just end up in the in the beach but you never see a station so oh you know where where i am so i'm like just exploring uh tokyo station ah and then we came back to tokyo station okay i'm just gonna go that way straight because i can see tokyo station on the right there we go. Oh, is this like a, I think this is a main street towards the Tokyo station. It's pretty big. See? Yeah, I avoided earlier because I wanted to start my live stream from here. Because it's got the Japan flag and everything. Uh, it looks bad. <laughs> but uh, then the strong wind hit. So I was like, eh, probably not. I'm gonna hide in the small back street. And I did, but that didn't really do anything because always, always, it's very windy. See, like this, like, you know, this is a little difficult to drive in a way. Like if you don't know where you're going. So I might not gonna drive around Tokyo just yet in the future when people are around to tell me where to go. This is like very random. Uh, let's go that way. Can I just go that way or like there's no... Uh, maybe not. I don't see any... Uh, yeah. This is a very, very randomly open space. That way is the Imperial Palace. So if I keep going straight and then I probably end up in, uh, at the gate. Pretty sure. And then that's Tokyo Station. Okay. So, the temperature is not bad, it's just wind. And like a very, is this a vent or something? There are so many things I don't know. Okay. So I kind of want to go this way. That's interesting. They are doing construction work. I don't know if that's gonna appear in the screen. Uh, now it's a temperature. So this is a temperature today. 24 degrees, so it's warm. But uh, they are doing the construction work and then before they were, uh, they had the, the thing, see? Like how loud it is. That's interesting, That something I never seen. 
but yeah construction is the other thing like i barely see any like big construction work in matsuyama but so oh this is might be this building might be like a restaurant inside It's warm, but yeah, it is a typhoon for me. Sorry. Yeah, so like for me, this is like typhoon level of wind, but I think for Tokyo people, it's like uh, Tuesday. Good thing that I grab a uh, hoodie. I was just, I was like, oh, it's today's warm. I don't need a jacket. I don't need a jacket, but like I need a hoodie. And then random art. This is so random. I think like Tokyo people don't know what to do with this empty space, and they're like, okay, I'm just gonna put like some sculpture. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Not gonna lie. Well, that's pretty new. And also, like, I think this is like only Tokyo or big cities that, like, you know, security cameras everywhere. Okay, so we came to another street. So, because of the strong wind, a lot of bikes are just like laying on the ground. There's a dental clinic. Clinics are everywhere though. That's another thing. I should go this way and then turn left. I want to take a little peek at the, uh, the Imperial Palace. Just a little bit. I'm not going to go in because like, if I go in then I'm probably not going to find my way out. So that's another day. I like the decoration in the in this building. Like uh, like some like fence thing. It's pretty nice. Pretty sure this is a uh, it says Mizuho, so I'm pretty sure this is a bank. Bank that collapsed many times. <laughs> Probably I shouldn't say that. We don't have we do not have this bank. This is like one of the major bank in Japan and we don't have that in Matsuyama of course. Matsuyama has its own banks. Why do people in Japan wear the mask on the face? That's a good question. Well, like, you know, it doesn't matter like if you had the, the pandemic or anything. Uh, it's just a regular thing the Japanese people do. So in the winter, they would do because it's, uh, it's you know it's dry right and then uh, we have like the flu going on so we want to cover the mat cover the face uh during this season i actually somehow overcame this but uh hay fever of course the wind hay fever is the season at the moment so a lot of people sneeze and cough maybe i have itchy eyes and then a lot of symptoms so they have they 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 wear masks to prevent the pollens to go into their their body. Um, the other times I sometimes do it. However, but uh, sometimes I do it. But like Japanese, it's it's not like a rule or a 
man or anything like that but like we have a thing that I mean can't really go outside when you don't have a makeup on right so when they don't have a makeup on and if they want to run to convenience or something then they will put on the mask so they can they can at least hide the fat half of their faces so not very like light symptoms so nothing severe i have like a little like runny nose and then like sneeze a lot just like that however somehow i went to hawaii for a year and then i overcame the allergies and then even i came back to japan i just don't have any any symptoms so yay for me <laughs> win win go away sherry very wants to play that's a nice one <laughs> that's a really nice one so i just realized that's a police station koban yeah so that's that's a that's a cute one doesn't look like it usually in um in ehime when you have a koban they have a min uh, mini police car parked right in front of it but this one doesn't Matsuyama, to be honest, like we have castle, right? Uh, we have Matsuyama Castle, and the castle itself is on top of the mountain, but around it, we have the, like uh, the rock wall, and then we have water. I think um, that's because it's, it's, it makes it more difficult to attack the castle or the palace, you know, long time ago. So. Bridge, so I want to go across the bridge. So this is a police station. It's a tiny police station, and then there's no one in there. Ooh, this is nice. This Japanese is very confusing because like it says that in this park you are not allowed to uh, take photos or uh, sell things like sell goods without any uh, permission right but like it's like I can take photos like the data taking photos but I think the photo taking means like if you actually um, like take money and then take photos so probably we're fine I might want to do it after doing some uh, research because this is live stream, right? So I don't want to do anything against the rules. So we'll come back later. I'll do a little bit of research and then we'll come back later. But uh, any any fish or birds? Oh, I see some birds. Well, you can see the bridge. Nice bridge. Commercial filming is prohibited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know live stream counts as like a commercial filming. Yes, no? I can't really tell. Like I know like they can do the personal filming, right? So this is not personal. Everybody's watching. So anyway. So that's like you know, I think there's like a, how can I say it? It's not canal or like pond or anything. But like water going around the palace and the garden and everything. And then they have like, is that a hotel? I think that's a hotel. That's like a really giant hotel. So. I'll definitely come back. I'll, I'll, I'll double check if I can film inside. And then makes so clean I know 
This is not ideal. I don't know if they clean or not. But yeah, yeah, I'll definitely come back and I'll do research beforehand if I can uh, do live stream inside or not. Castle mode, okay, castle mode. What you don't like about Tokyo? Ah, wind. <laughs> this wind, I don't like this wind at all. Other things? I thought I would hate walking so much. Cause like you have to walk from the station to station and sometimes the closest station is like 10, 15 minutes away. But I'm kind of loving the, loving the walk though. So I don't mind walking. Well, maybe the weather is still nice. That's why, because it's not like extremely hot. Oh, summer is gonna be terrible. So like I never really walked outside for like 20 minutes in the hot summer heat or the, or the winter cold. So that's another story. But so far I'm liking it. But uh, anything else? It's convenient, right? It's a little, like, sometimes it's crowded, like train and then what? Oh, but if you know which train, see, look at that. This is very, very nice view. Ta-da! Yeah, so like, you can see like there are only a few people. So if you know where to go and what time and like which train to get, yada 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 and it won't be too difficult to avoid the crowd. But yeah, I probably miss my car. Like be able to drive anywhere I want. Like anytime I feel like driving. Cause uh, yeah, like in Tokyo you have to walk or take the train. This is the, uh, this, this used to be Edojo, Edojo Castle. Okay. I just found Starbucks. That's interesting. Starbucks everywhere. We have some Starbucks in anime too, but only some hard to find it. got in my mouth. Look at this Starbucks. That's fancy. I didn't expect, expect this Starbucks to be this fancy from that side of view. It was like, you know, just concrete and then the Starbucks side. Wow. I wish they have like a actually water fountain going on. But nice. I want to get something. Well, like what they serve is the same everywhere, right? Starbucks, but the exterior of it is very, very fancy. Ah, I might enjoy this. And then, like, if you get a seat by the uh, by the window, and then you can see the fountains. Cool. Oh, and then that's Starbucks, right? But like there, they have free resting place. Rest. What is that? Gonna... So 
I think this place is also like free, so you can just like sit and enjoy. Yeah, and then also this is also free, I think. Yeah, rest house. This is free, so yeah, you can just like go in and then like rest. Terrace. Yep, and then cafe. Nice. I wish we can see the water fountain. But uh Alright, so definitely all oh, like they have like a it's not a castle, but <clears throat> but yeah, they are looking like old traditional Japanese like castle looking looking thing so definitely this like area is a part of the imperial palace so I'll do my research and then I'll come back and see if I can film it ah. all right so last question <laughs> I haven't really answered any questions but last question um, yeah Starbucks if you like study or if you work or if you do something uh, for long hours, they're not gonna say anything. I never kicked out of Starbucks and I sometimes like when I go to Starbucks, I actually spend some time in Starbucks, but no. And especially in Tokyo, like I see a lot of people like in Ehime, I don't see any people doing like an online meeting or anything at Starbucks. But here in Tokyo, I see a lot of people have their laptop open and actually talking to people. So yeah. I don't think they mind. So that's a good thing about Tokyo. Anyway, so I guess that's, that's the wrap for my windiest Tokyo Explorer <laughs> live stream. So I'll, next, next time I'll watch out for wind. Even if the Google says it's a moderate wind, I'm gonna avoid the moderate wind because Tokyo people, this is moderate and this is not moderate. So I'm just glad that like I could actually do the 40 minute or oh, almost 50 minute live stream without you know uh getting interrupted with the weak signal or anything or maybe we had one weak signal but it didn't cut off um and then the wind well my voice kind of survived so yeah windy tokyo explorer yeah there we go windy tokyo explorer anyway so i'm just gonna turn off so yeah my see my hair is like total mess now See, this is why I wasn't turning around the camera. Ah! So anyway, so I will next time I will try to find a time that's not this week. So thank you for joining, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and then uh, turn on the notification bell because I will do a random um, live stream here and there in uh, Tokyo and also in Matsuyama as well. So thank you for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye.